Okay, so I said earlier in my blog that I was going to um, do a bit more stuff in Reflect. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to upload a file, um, attach that file to a CPD activity that you've maybe done, um, and then to share that file with somebody else. And you can, once you've shared the file, you can give them rights to maybe critique the file and send it back to you. Um, but we'll have a look at that. Okay, first of all, I need to upload the file. So it's just this one here, upload file. And I'm just going to upload a single file here. Title is going to be, uh, it's an iEtherpad document. I'll give it a tag of ECPD. Okay, then we click down here to actually upload the file. And then it'll ask us to browse and select it. Okay, so we just click browse here. And I just need to select the file, just that one there. And then click on upload. Okay, so that's there, it's an Etherpad document. Reflection. Okay, so what I've said is that it's not very successful in the day. If you decide to use something like Etherpad or iEtherpad, um, great, great tool, but be aware that only 16 people can use it at one time. Um, my class had 22 people in it and it ended up being chaos. Um, so we can record the time spent in the activity if we want to. I'm not going to in this case. Okay, so that's my... PDF uploaded with a bit of reflection on what the PDF is. Okay, now we've uploaded the file. What I'm going to do is link it to the CPD activity to, to place as well. Um, so what I'll do first of all is find the CPD day um, that I did that used that iEtherpad document and it's this one here, the LCC CPD day. So I can click on that. Now what I can do is go to more options down the bottom here and then I can do add and edit link and when I click on that we can either put my assets or web email we want to choose this document here is what we want it to link to so we'll click link item and so those things are now linked together okay now what I'll do I'm going to send it through to one of my colleagues for them to review and send back to me so I click on the assets again in the asset store And I find the Etherpad document I want, so I can click on that. And what I want to do this time is send to, and whereas before we've we've in the previous video we looked at sending to the CPD record, what we're going to do now is send it to a person. Okay, and I've got my contacts here, and is there as one of my contacts. Now what I can do if I want to add another contact, I can click on here, add contact and put the details in there. But I'm just going to use Marga there and send that through. And then if you click on the number two here, this is really important, you can set the different permissions. So what this is saying is at the minute, Marga's only got permission to view um, the document. But what I can say is I want her to grade it in feedback, um, comment on it, I'll let her copy it. Um, she can cascade it onto any of her peers if she wants to. Uh, I'm not going to let her collaborate on it though, I want that document kept as it is. And I can also put a date on it if I want as well, so if I only want her to be able to do all these things until a certain date and then not have access to it, I would, I would put a date in there. But I just want it ongoing, she can look at that for as long as she wants. And you can add a message by clicking on here. Um, so I'll put... Okay, and share and close that. So that's now been sent through to Margot. So what she'll find is she'll, in her asset store, she'll have a, a new received updated asset. 
Okay, so that's how you would upload a file, connect it to an activity from your CPD, um, you know, it's a CPD activity that's in your CPD record, and then send that file through to a colleague for them to critique and evaluate.